Hey everybody, this is Chris Fagan, your executive producer of Talking Through the Media. This is the Bros to WrestleMania, on the road to WrestleMania, and I finally have another bro with me here on the road to WrestleMania. Finally, now I can stop getting comments about how, you know, how is it a Bros to WrestleMania when there's only I see only one black guy. But <laughs> <laughs> but we're here, we're having a party, we're watching the, uh, the SummerSlam pay-per-view, and we're going to give our a little reactions as the... As the event goes on, I almost thought that John Cena was about to take it, which would have been a tragedy, but uh, so far it's still going on. It's not going to happen with uh, with his own move, right? Not with his own move. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm being rude. So let me introduce you to the one and only, fresh out the barbershop, fresh and so clean, got a ball fade that just that squeaks when you rub on it. But I won't be testing that theory out. And uh, we got other people in the room too. But you know, a little camera shot. We're not going to embarrass them. Jason. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> won't do it too. But uh, J we have Jason Rodriguez here. Say something to the nice people. That's me, Jason Rodriguez, a.k.a. DJ Puerto Rico, live with Bros for Wrestling. Bros for Wrestling. I forgot to tell, uh, tell them how to, you know, say it's the bros to wrestlemania bros on to the road to wrestlemania on the road <laughs> watching the summer stuff. so we're just gonna sit here and just watch and uh give our thoughts on on what's going on as it's going on parental discretion is advised there's been a few drinks of uh of alcohol so oh that's it it's that's about it. to be over if he gets into oh, that's oh, if he wins it like this, that's that it. would be oh, Ric Flair's move right there. The, uh, if he got him in the figure four, oh come on, that's it. That's Ric Flair's move, bro. That's it. That's it. Tap, tap, tap. Seth Rollins is gone. This would only make sense though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe Shane is about no, to come out. Shane is about to cash in. I think Shane is going to cash this in. This would be the way to win. Nah. If you need to win a 16 oh, times, if you, if you want to this would respect. be the way to win. Look at, look at the people in the front row. Nah. nah Give nah. him his props. Give Ric Flair his props by using his move. You're going to turn him over. You got him. You got him. No one has ever made John Cena tap out, I believe. I don't. I, no. Maybe when he was a bad guy, maybe. But ever since John Cena's been on this whole... Superman kick. We're gonna have to Google that. I don't believe that's true. <laughs> no, not well, what's not going on. The Tyrone Magnus out there. Woo! You, I'm gonna be your one million follower. John Cena really trying to protect that new nose of his, man. He's like, no, don't, don't do it. No. I can't do that move today. Every time I try to do a super kick, he times his head. Every time, uh, every time Seth Rollins uh, uh, punches him in the face, he gets another ten thousand dollar fine. <laughs> you get fines for injuring somebody? Nah, it was just an accident. I mean, I hope not. I'm sure it's probably in John Cena's contract. If you hit me for real, that's a ten thousand dollar fine. You look at me, that's a five thousand dollar fine. Look at that, he's gonna get booze for going to the top row. You are really looking up to see if, if John Cena's ever submitted? I mean a tap yeah. out? The last time he submitted, he was about as big as T V Herman. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last How long? time. Did it say what a year? Oh he got him. Uh, he got him. Oh, he rolled into it. Another one. Oh, if he beats John. Oh, come oh, on. That should have been it. That should have been it. I got neighbors dancing. <laughs> Just can't jump in. You can't be jumping like that. Everybody who's made him quit is not wrestling anymore. <laughs> you made John Cena quit. That's uh, it's automatic termination. <laughs> oh, he missed. That's it. That's it. He's doing some dope stuff, though. That's it. That's it. No. He's done. Uh, referee gets knocked oh. down, of course. That's it. Referee gets knocked down. Now somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Got it. Yeah. Somebody gonna. Uh, I bet. Okay. This is how, This makes sense. If John loses, it's because it is. Because he won right now. Huh? Look at him. Where's the ref? About to be some bad acting right now, huh? Did the ref quit? He paid. <laughs> Give 
Yeah, he, he gave the doctor symbol. Last time I saw a dude do that, it was, um, I think it was Sankara. He broke his finger. Doing, going the for nose. the nose again. <laughs> the nose is gone. He said, He's like, I quit, I quit, I quit. <laughs> I can't believe he did it again. That's going to be a $20,000 fine. Yeah. Yeah. Got another ref coming? You mean right along. John Stewart? What do you want to do? Uh, probably going to get revenge on Seth Rollins. <laughs> He was in. He was oh. in league. He was in league with uh with uh with Seth Rollins the whole time. <laughs> it was some bad time. You could tell he was about to hit John Cena. He was just waiting for John Cena to finally get his butt up. Did it? Got both belts. He told Triple H if he comes back with both belts, he says, "Can I get a statue at, in the WWE uh, headquarters right next to Andre the Giant?" <laughs> they were like, "Yeah, you can." I was like, "No, <laughs> like, no. I'm like hell no! Like you think you're gonna? Heck, bro? I like this. I didn't see it. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. I totally saw this coming. I didn't see John Stewart. Must be on the way to go make a movie. Yeah. So yeah, Cena's about to go make a movie. This is his vacation time to go make some more money. This dude is the United States WWE United States World Heavyweight Champion of the USA. Which <laughs> totally explains the prom pants. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, the whole the whole John Stewart betrayal thing don't make sense. What happened? It's entertainment. Referee was in on it. John Stewart was in on it. Look at that. Yeah. You can beat three people. If, if John Cena doesn't turn into a heel after all this, this is perfect writing. <laughs> perfect writing. <laughs> Watch, they're gonna say something crazy like, "Why'd you, why'd you portray John Cena? Because he never went on my show. He never went on my show." Has John Cena ever gone on the Daily Show? Fact checker. No. I don't think he's ever been on The Daily Show. Maybe that's the reason why he did it. Brett the Hitman Hart, and I forgot this guy's name, the USA guy. What was his name? Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle made him give up. Two people, that, only two people. Yeah, that was, he gave up seven times in his whole career. Yeah, but that was probably all when he was a, uh, a heel. When he became this John Cena, I, I don't think I've ever seen him tap out. Del Rio. Del Rio made him tap out? Man, what? You know Del Rio. Oh, that was a 10 count. Nope. I think it's only Brett the Hitman Hurt and, and Kurt, Kurt Angle. Angle. That ankle uh, that ankle lock, yeah. <laughs> they gonna give him a statue? No, that was weak. I wouldn't even want a statue. Oh, man, I'm saying, if I would have did, if I would have did that promo, I'd have been like, if I would have been Stephanie McMahon, I'd be like, are yeah, you gonna really give him a statue? I'd have been like, hell no, oh, come on. What was the other fact we were looking at? I uh, wanted to see uh, if John Cena has ever been on the uh, on the Daily Show. Well. John Cena blew it again. Nobody wants to see him uh, match Ric Flair's uh, title uh, number of uh, title wins. I mean, come on, nobody wants to see that. He's not ready for that. And this is why WWE is the bomb. This just happened, and it's already on Google. <laughs> <laughs> they probably, uh, yeah, that was quick. So uh, let me hurry up and post this real quick before I before I lose the momentum. So. 
You heard, you saw the reaction right here. It was awesome, but it was like, eh. So, John Cena loses, but I already knew that was going to happen. So, for uh, I believe he's going to win the title bag, probably more likely in WrestleMania. He's about to retire. You had it right the first time. He's about to go do a movie. Well, anyway, so that's my first reaction to uh, SummerSlam here on the road to WrestleMania with the bros to WrestleMania. So this is Chris. This is uh, Jason. I'm going to sign out for now, and uh, maybe the next match will be even better. When the Divas uh, match starts, I probably won't be wearing a shirt. Peace out. He'll be wearing a shirt, though. <laughs>